I grew up in Amsterdam. Yes. And when I was playing with friends at their house, their grandmothers would be there. And their grandmothers, some of them had tattooed numbers on their arms because they had oh. been in concentration camps. So, and there was a huge um, sentiment against Germans. I mean, you know, the Netherlands capitulated within 24 hours. Here's my bike, you know, take over our country, whatever. And um, now this was in, I was there in the 70s. So it was really only 30 years after the, after the war. And, you know, just like, fuck the Germans. We don't like the Germans. Now, the German people, they will say, we didn't know. Wir haben es nicht gewusst. We didn't know. Or we were just following orders. And the, and the thing that we take away from that is never again or never. They say, I would say always remember, but they say never forget, never again. We can never have that happen again. So who really were the people doing it? They were mind-controlled, brainwashed into believing that Jews, gypsies, you know, uh, cripples, non-Aryan-looking people were all bad and they were the, 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 the source of their problems. I'm going to take that and say that by 2000, it was finally we had a new generation of Germans. You know, now we're like two generations in. Still, a pro- Hollywood still makes the Germans look like, Eins, zwei, drei, haben sie das noch mal? Yeah. It's still it's it's traumatizing to German people. This is exactly what happened with COVID. And it and the people became the Nazis, just like the Germans became the Nazis. And this is so we said never again, but we fucking did it again. And we didn't realize that we were doing it again. We were othering people. Othering, yes. Yeah. And and it's still going on today. And this is yeah. a travesty. And this othering, if we don't I mean, I don't know if we can even stop it but it will go on for generations it's so natural for people to do it's so natural for people to other even other people that are like in their close proximity <sighs> but where does it come from it's a, just a tribal thing i think how about evil evil yeah it is it is 100 percent evil but it's also because there were evil people in the world and i think we have like a built-in reaction to try to fight off those people that might be evil and for people that believed i'm not saying they were right they were wrong but the people that believed, they looked at unvaccinated people like plague rats. And I, I yeah. saw people oh, say, yeah. people sure. that I know, yeah, sure. wrote, called them plague rats on Twitter. But that is a natural thing, I think. But where does that, is, is evil just a natural thing? Does it, mm-hmm. is it, do you think yeah, there's it actual- it needs to be resisted at all Do you think there's times. actual evil in the world? Yes. And that evil makes good people do evil things? No, but I think weak people do evil things. So I think people get scared and I think when they're scared, that's when they're more likely to be evil I think it's more that I think there's probably more evil being committed by scared people than there is by actual evil people um, I believe there's evil in the world I and, think there's evil in the world as well And if I believe there's evil in the world, then there's got to be good in the world and uh, the beginning of last year it was actually Naomi Klein uh, wrote a, a couple of sub stacks and she was, you know, you know, Naomi Klein, she's mm-hmm. like Jewish lady, super leftist, mm-hmm. elitist, you know, hangs out with all the hedge fund people, has the dinners Upper East Side. And she saw people who she knew were not evil saying and doing evil things in hedge fund and money and stuff like that. And she said, oh, you know, there has to be good. And she went on kind of a spiritual journey. And I was very interested by this because I've looked at every conspiracy theory, you know, moon landing, 9-11, JFK, Mm. I mean, all kinds of conspiracies. But the one I had never looked at, and now, you know, I'm 58, so I'm like, okay, let me look at this one, is um, God. And uh, I said, let me see about this God thing. I've never been a religious guy. And uh, so I start reading and I start talking. I also found that around me, like a couple of people I was working with, they're all Christians. And not that anyone was ever pushing anything on me. When I asked them questions, they were gladly answered. And there's a lot of stuff written about Jesus. (laughs) There's a lot written, you know, thousands of years of books. And Mm. and there's some contemporary stuff such as uh, evidence demands a verdict. And, you know, this just is so much. And I got to tell you, Joe, as sure as I know that Building 7 didn't fall down out of uh, sympathy for Building 1 and 2, God is real, Jesus existed, he was a badass outlaw, and it has changed my outlook on life. It has really changed the way I look at things. And I believe that we can win um, with God. I know that may, may sound a little weird uh, coming from me, but I am, I'm all in on this. And, you know, I'm not a, you know, 
Like, you know, you may think of someone who believes in God or Jesus as a crazy right wing nut job, which I'm obviously not. But man, it's powerful stuff when you when you put uh, prayer into your life. It's really powerful. The Holy Spirit. I don't think there's anything weird about it at all. I mean, I think it's there's a reason why it exists, why it's so prevalent in so many cultures. It it helps people. It's about love. Yeah. It's all about love. Yeah. Whether or not uh, the idea, the problem is the word. That word has been God? co-opted. Yeah, the the word has been co-opted in a lot of people's minds. There's not a real problem with the word. The, the pro, I should rephrase that. There's a problem with the perception of the word. Sure. The perception of the word is that you believe in fairy tales, and you believe stories. in old mythical yeah. stories <laughs> yeah, sure. by the book, and, and you believe that gay people shouldn't be allowed to get married, and you believe, you know, there's like all sorts that's of stuff not, that comes yeah. with that. That's right? not really contemporary religion anymore, but right. yeah, I understand what but you're that, saying. But isn't that fascinating? No, contemporary yeah. religion is a sure, fascinating sure, concept. Sure, of course. Because of course. then you have to agree that the hand of man has decided, and culture has decided to manipulate these ancient doctrines and change them to keep up with the times. Or evil. Or evil, yeah. Or evil. It's kind of like, mm. but I think what what I was gonna say is like the concept of like a guy in the sky, uh, you know, with a robe on, like what people consider God. That mm-hmm. seem, might p- seem ridiculous, but the idea that there's a powerful force of the universe, like, why wouldn't there be? Like, how else did this happen? Even if that powerful force is just some scientific creation machine that's impossible for you to wrap your head around the amount of power that it has it's literally created the universes the multiverses the 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 different planets and the different beings and all the inventions it's created everything and it's constantly in this creative process like just knowing that that's a real thing Mm -hmm. can give you order in your life i think the problem that a lot of people have they think they're smarter than they really are so they think that like saying they believe in god like makes them seem stupid mm. you know and they're they're worried about criticism yeah, so they won't they won't say it so they won't. well it's interesting because um, you look at the concept of the simulation or the matrix and right. uh, and that's certainly believable as a, as an idea red pill blue pill you know and, sure. and so you could also say evil or good um, I just know that there's a lot more. Do- I'm a I'm I'm a conspiracy therapist, so I look at stuff, I read stuff, right? And there's a lot more documentation of Jesus walking the earth and and God and the Holy Spirit than there is about the simulation. <laughs> there's just a lot more believable information out there that has been you know studied by scholars for thousands of years.